Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus between the period of October 22nd and November 22nd. Thank you for joining me, and as always, thank you for your like, your shares, and your subscriptions, as well as your donations. They do really support the channel, and they are appreciated. So thank you. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I've already done a series of readings about the Venus Retrograde, which does have a bit of dark negative energy attached to it that a lot of the astrologers are not pointing out. If you would like to see that, please consult and look at my past videos. Otherwise, we're looking at just some of the things that might happen around Virgo, for Virgo, over the next three or four weeks. A little Johnny head in the air. This is Virgo, by the way. This is Virgo Major Arcana. This is the Regulator. We have we have the full quantum leap. I feel like a lot of Virgos may be taking unnecessary risk, or they may have taken an unnecessary risk, or they may be taking up some risky behaviors that are a bit contrary to how they typically would act. Um and I feel like they can get away with it. Doesn't necessarily mean that they should do it, though. Um, some Virgos may also be avoiding some type of a mishap um, by paying attention. Obviously, uh, pay attention to your instincts over the next three to four weeks. If, if really pay attention to your instincts is the best thing I can tell you, for good or for bad. Your instincts may tell you go buy a lottery ticket and you may win. Your instincts may tell you uh, go in this building over here that you see and you walk in there and you meet somebody who will have a positive change in your life. I feel like you need to pay attention to your instincts, Virgo, over the next three to four weeks. So what else does Virgo need to know about the next three to four weeks into the middle and then the November 2018, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And your instincts may be telling you that someone is presenting someone something to you that you can't really trust or believe in. I feel like someone may be coming forward to you with an offer that seems really too good to be true. It may sound like you're a big gullible or you're falling, you're falling into this, but you know in your heart that it's too good to be true. Nothing comes free, you know. This is about the reality of things. This harvest here, she had to work for this just didn't appear one day and she's giving thanks for the abundance here so something in you know that it doesn't just come for free all of your instincts in this regard Virgo it will serve you well you know uh, to not believe in cotton candy and, and, and power puff girls or whatever it's something here about being grounded and realistic you know uh, follow your instincts once again. Let's see if anything else is coming out for Virgo. This is moving a lot of quick moving energy and changes for Virgo as well. I feel like there's a lot of moving parts over the next three to four weeks. But again, follow your instincts. If someone tells you, go there because this can be a positive situation for you if you go there and talk to this person. If something in you is telling you, don't go, then don't go. If something in you is telling you, yeah, go then go because I feel like there's a lot of fast moving parts but you will only be able to rely on your instincts more than anything else trust what you believe even if someone tells you it different trust your gut trust your stomach if your stomach feels strange about something don't do it we have the five of cups Hmm, very interesting. 
we have the Five of Cups, we have Major Arcana the Emperor, and we have Major Arcana the Lovers. So again, this is coming back to the point you have to you have to believe in yourself and trust yourself. You may not have the advice or an advisor or someone who can tell you, yes, do good. This is good for you. Do this. This is good for you. Do this. This is bad for you. Already see, already know this, that, and the other. You're going to have decisions to make or something you have to move through or do, but you don't know who to rely on. Who can I trust? Who can I believe in? Can I believe what they're telling me? But it's like you're going to have to do it on your own. You're going to have to, whoa, yeah, he believes he can do this. And even something told him to jump. What told him to jump here? That's what you want to rely on, Virgo, over the next few weeks. Yourself, your instinct, your gut instinct will serve you well. What else? And then we're going to... Pull a few, one, one, one of the good tarot oracles for your final message. Let's move on really quick for Virgo. One main message. Also with lovers who are coming in. Trust your instincts. If something is telling you that this person is trouble, you better believe they are. Come on, guys. You know better. See that? Seven of Wands, Three of Cups. Feel like this is someone that you're starting to hang out with and spend some time around. Whoever this is or whatever this is, maybe you're starting to get your social network up and going. Still not sure who you can trust. You know, you got to stay a little bit guarded, Virgo. You got to stay a little bit guarded right now and not just believe in anyone or anything that's being told to you, yeah? Can be dangerous even. I mean, I'm getting a sense that if you fall in with the wrong people, wrong situation, it could be dangerous for you, Virgo. So keep your wits about you over the next three to four weeks, please, Virgo. I love you. Okay. So it can be some good things. But you got to keep your wits about you with that Ace of Wands and now the Queen of Swords. Take more on this energy. Doubt what people tell you. If it goes against your better instincts or judgment, why are you saying this to me? What? Oh, prove it. Show me. I'm not going there. I don't have a way to get back. You going to pick me up? Yeah, okay. Make sure you have a backup plan. That's also part of this. Make sure you have a make sure you have a backup plan. This is the backup plan. This is a catch. Yeah, go here, do this, but make sure you have a backup plan. Please, Virgo. We're gonna go ahead and leave it there. We're gonna pull up one of the oracles and we're gonna read what it says. I feel like overall this could be positive, but you need to follow your instincts. If you have anybody new trying to get with you, be careful. Especially if you're getting red flags. Come on now. You know the story. We have the Three of Swords. Let's go ahead and read that. I feel like this is waning energy for some reason. This is how things were before that you've already moved away from. Especially with these two um, Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords here. Silver linings, natural departures, rejection is God's protection. A third party helps me to see the truth of this situation. What is truly mine can never be withheld from me. Rejection is spirit's protection. It's in my best interest to let go and allow for something better to take its place. It is my highest good to see the truth regarding my temporary discomfort. This too shall pass. We're going to leave it there for verbal. That was a lot for you guys to deal with. I still feel like there's more going on here. I might come back next week and do something else for verbal. Because I feel like there's a need. You guys got a lot of fast moving parts. Try to keep up. Follow your instincts. And I'll see you guys back here again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.